I'm back, baby. Pike's Place, Seattle, Washington, where I'm going to try to find someone to go on the fly fishing experience of a lifetime in Oahu with Coach Duff. Right here, right here. The question is, will they have the guts to go? Ooh, real tempting. How are you, man? Go, Seahawks! Go, Seahawks! Two phone calls in five minutes will decide. How bad do you want to go fishing? First want to go fishing happened right here. It's a stroll down memory lane for me, Seattle, Washington. Pike's Place Public Market. It's the spot where I picked our very first guest, Dan Buggy. What's your name? Dan Buggy. And uh, what are you doing here in Seattle, Washington? Uh, flinging fish. Flinging fish, huh? <laughs> first guest on Want to Go Fishing ever. To go back to Pike's Place five years later and see how he's doing now was awesome. He's got an unbelievable restaurant, one of the best restaurants in Seattle and he's doing great. On top of that, Dan Buggy is now planned a trip to take his brother for his 40th birthday back up to Yakutat and relive that trip. We're doing the same exact trip. I think Want to Go Fishing speaks for itself. Get that fly in the water. When people are passing on those experiences to their family members and friends, you realize how powerful Want to Go Fishing is. Changing people's lives one day at a time, you know? One guy we picked off the ice in northern Minnesota out of an ice shack. So what would you do if I told you right now we have a plane ready to take you to the Florida Keys? He loved it so much, he packed everything up, sold his house, and is now working on the charter boat as a captain where we took him. No way. It sure beats ice fishing. It's not just a fishing trip, it's a life-changing experience. Yeah. But it all started with you. Yeah. <laughs> Changing one life at a time. Let's do it again, baby. All right, what's your name? Sam. Sam, where are you from? I'm from here, Seattle. Oh, awesome. And uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a fishmonger. Fuck rats! Fuck rats! Hey! How about bonefish? Have you ever heard of a bonefish? No. What's a bonefish? Well, I, I'll tell you what. If you had the opportunity to find out to go to Hawaii on an all-expense-paid trip, would you blow off your work here for the next few days and find out? I, I wish I could, but I can't. So we've got a trip that is the absolute bargain of a lifetime. How much cash you got? <laughs> Come on, man. Dan Buggy did it. You can do it. Real tempting. I wish I could go, man. Pike's Place Public Market. Very busy time of year. But I know a place we could go to find that perfect person. Somebody out there is going to Hawaii. We just arrived in Lacey, Washington to Cabela's, and I am gonna test people's skills with this little yarn fly rod to see if they have the ability to go to Hawaii to catch giant bonefish with Coach Duff. This is a very impressive fly shot you got going on here, Jason. Thank you. You got saltwater flies? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Can you cast 80 feet with a 30 knot wind? No. No, I can't. I fish year round. <laughs> You're the man. Good time. Have a good time. You, hey, you, you want to give us a little test run here with the fly? No, thank you. Are you sure? This is scaring everyone away. The yarn is scaring people away. Well, you never know who you're going to find when you're at a store like Cabela's. Hey, you have a second to chat? We're talking about thousands and thousands of people. Are you a fly fisherman? Nope, never have. Instant dequalification. I tried. You have to be able to make the cast. If you don't know how to throw a fly rod, <laughs> you're not going to be able to fish with Coach Duff. That's a rat's nest. Just imagine that you're standing, you know, in some flats, yeah. right? Beautiful weather, like uh, a 10-pound bonefish is feeding 50 feet away from you. You've got to get that fly two feet in front of it and two feet past it, okay? okay? There we go. A little bit of snap in there at the end, Ed, but that was pretty nice. <laughs> I'd like to take Ed. Do you have a second to chat? Yeah, sure. Uh, what's your name? I'm Darren. And Chris. Where are you guys from? 
Eugene. Awesome. That's I went to school in Eugene. There you go. Home of the Ducks. Here's Darren. Comes into Cabela's with his wife, his two nephews, his sister and brother-in-law. They're all in there together to kind of have the full Cabela's <laughs> experience. Cast a fly rod? I can cast a fly rod. <laughs> Give it a try? Sure. Yeah, it's nice. I'm just, I'm really trying to pick someone who embraces fly fishing. So on a scale of one to 10, how much do you like to fish? Uh, I'd say a 10, maybe 11. Well, so if I were to tell you that tomorrow I have a plane ready to take you to Hawaii to catch bonefish and fish with Coach Duff, would you be willing to blow off all your plans for the next few days and go? To Hawaii? Um, I would probably consider that, yes. I'll give you two phone calls in five minutes to work it out. Two phone calls in five minutes. And it's from when? Tomorrow? A quick trip. It's two days of full fishing in Oahu with Coach Duff. These are some of the biggest bonefish in the world. Fishing in the flats. We will take care of everything for you. I'll just have to have someone cover me for two days and I can make it happen. Go ahead. By the second phone call in about five minutes time, we make it happen. Is he doing it? Is he doing it? <laughs> Coming up next. I get a phone call from Coach Duff and he says, hey man, can we cancel this trip? It is dumping rain. Showers. He's like, there is no fishing, it's over. Wanna Go Fishing is presented by Cabela's, celebrating 50 years as the world's foremost outfitter. And by Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. Yeah! Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. And Berkeley, catch more fish. I couldn't believe I was in Hawaii. We are on a plane landing in Honolulu, Hawaii, getting ready to meet Coach Duff and go on the fishing trip of a lifetime for giant tailing bonefish. Let's see, let's see what these bonefish look like. Okay. I get a phone call from Coach Duff and he says, hey man, can we cancel this trip? It is dumping rain. You gotta have sunlight to yeah. spot these things. He's like, the conditions can't get any worse, bro. In the weather here. Showers, showers, showers. It means there's no sun. I mean, sight okay. fishing is extremely difficult. And I, I just said, hey, you know, Duff, Duffer, buddy. It's how we roll, man. I mean, if, it, if we can't go out, we can't go out, but we're coming. So let's just do this. We are here at Diamond Head, Oahu, with Darren McDaniel, trying to get him his first bonefish on the fly right out of Lacey, Washington, fishing trip of a lifetime. Man, I can't believe I'm here right now. <laughs> We're about ready to launch the boat. It's gonna be a tough day, but uh, Coach Duff here knows how to get it done, so. Oh boy, no pressure there. We live on Oahu, which is the most populated island in Hawaiian. Oahu means the gathering place. Living in Hawaii is a special thing. It gets in your blood. It's gonna be awesome, man. Here I am, I'm actually in Hawaii. I'm actually boarding a boat in Hawaii with a professional top elite guy. Ooh, this is sweet. This is one of my favorite fisheries in the world. We have fishless days here, believe me. We don't catch fish every day here. This is my little flat here, and you know, we've hooked some giant fish here. I mean, monsters. Coach Duff in a nutshell. He is a crazed fly fisherman. He is very knowledgeable about the tides and bonefish in Hawaii. He's an ex-marine. He's a father, a husband, and a good guy. Not a nutshell. That's in a coconut shell. I've been fly fishing for 30 years, and I'm not into the romance part of the sport. No, my flies catch fish, not, in, not anglers. And a lot of the flies that, that people buy in the bins are made to catch the angler, not fish. This guy, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. He's uh, gonna tell you how it is, and that's the way I like it. See him? Yeah, I see him. Put it right down between the middle of the two. Uh, a tailing bonefish, technically, to me, strip it, is a rooting bonefish whose nose is in the mud, down in the dirt, digging. There's a fish right there. Slow strip, don't jerk it. There you go. Problem with in Hawaii is they're so damn big here that in water like this, you may see a tail and dorsal, but the fish is moving. It's just moving to another place, and so his eyes are up, and they're not easy to hook. They're not really tailing, they're just traveling. If it's feeding and tailing, its eyes are down, and that's the fish you hook. You know that you're gonna have to make the perfect cast. You're gonna have to be sneaky. You're gonna have to do everything right to catch it. Your heart's gonna be bumping. You're gonna get sweaty palms. You're gonna get the shakes, and I've done this a million times. Yeah. Matt 
just hooked a big bonefish. Yeah, he's there. He's coming back, unless he's gone. I think he's gone. Just like that. He's gone. Just when you think you got it, it oh, ends. God. Who knows how big it was? That thing just took me into my backing in a matter of seconds. Yeah, I see nervous water right there. There he is. Once the fish is moving and it's spooked, so right there. your chances of hooking the thing are slim to none. Slow down, get it out in front of him. Up, oh, spooked him. He blew out. Let him be. Right here, right here. There's a fish right here. Right in front of us. Oh, he's just. Oh, there he is. I still see him. There he is, right there. Uh, a little bit short. Take it again. Get your heart racing. There he goes. I mean, just insane. These fish are so elusive. They're right there. Like, that's not bad. These are giant bonefish. My heart is just pounding right now. I've never seen anything like it. Go five feet to the left and put the same one out there. Leave it. Long, slow strips. Keep it up. Ah, we spooked him. Oh, that that's the best chance we've right had. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. Another trophy bonefish. Oh, yeah. There we go. OK, nice bone fish here, bro. He just hooked another one back to back. Oh, this is what it's about right here. If it's anything like we've been seeing, these are really nice bone fish. Feels like a nice fish. Who knows what this is? Oh, it's dropping fast here. Rips right over the edge into deep water. Gone. Broke me off on the coral. Over. Man. Two giant bonefish in a row. Now is a good time for a commercial break. Coming up <laughs> next. Oh, you got, got it. You got, got him. him. You got him. You got him. You got to get to the edge, dude. Yeah! yeah! Run, run, run. Real, real. Awesome experience. Can't believe it. Unbelievable. I want to go fishing. It's going to take a while for people to except this is one of the great fly fishing destinations on Earth. Here he comes, here he comes. My ultimate goal is just to land a bonefish today. Cabela's to Hawaii, baby. I mean, Lacey, Washington, and Cabela's to Honolulu, Hawaii for bonefish. What an epic moment. There's one finning right there. A bonefish is put on planet Earth to be sight fished. Seeing those tails sticking up out of the water sends chills up your spine. You feel adrenaline surge through your body. Oh my god. There's three in that pocket. Look at that bonefish, dude. It's like one of the best feelings in the world. You walk these flats for hours and hours. You're blowing fish out left and right. And you're stripping the line just right. But not every fish takes the fly. And that's what happened to me a couple times, too. They're scattering. You're not seeing anything. And then all of a sudden, in the distance, this glittering, beautiful tail just sticking out of the water. It's like magic. Watch, stop, stop, stop. There's something neat about an experience when you see a fish. Here he comes, here he comes. You're gonna get a good shot here. And now you're gonna try to sneak up around. Watch out. And eventually, you place a few good casts. I mean, it's right on there. Cast now. Oh. I, I just shot it on his head. Huh? <laughs> if anyone ever told you that catching a big bonefish was easy, they're lying. Matt, right in front of me. Doesn't get any better than that, man. Ah. 
type on them again. Lost another one, man. He can't hold his fish on the flats. There's an edge right there, dude. Broke me off. You don't want to land one, do you? Done. I couldn't believe I was in Hawaii. It was a crazy set of events over a few hours. If I were to tell you that tomorrow I have a plane ready to take you to Hawaii to catch bonefish and fish with Coach Duff, would you be willing to blow off all your plans for the next few days and go? All right, I guess I'm going to Hawaii. <laughs> all right, Darren. <laughs> That'd be awesome. And I'm like, what? Are you serious, man? I was like in shock, just kind of like, what is going on? Well, we have one other surprise for you. This is Jason. He's the manager of the store. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, Jason has something for you, uh, which is going to help you uh, gear up. Really? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Yes. <laughs> We're, we'll gear it up. Appreciate. It. Oh, Cabela's, man. Great. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Lay a little longer in your back cast. There you go. When I'm in Hawaii, this will be great. You want to give it a try? Perfect. Nice. This is my family. The only family I've left is uh, my sister, my brother-in-law, and my wife. And I think the good Lord's looking down on me. And I think a lot of times when this fortune happens to me, someone's looking up for me. My mom and my dad, they passed away a couple years ago. But uh, that's what it's all about. And I feel like I've been blessed. And I think there's something to do with it up above. So. Thanks, Mom and Dad. There again, and we're going fishing. That's what it's all about right there. Getting the kids into it. Awesome. Bone collector. He's got his shirt, he's got his pants. And we are off to Hawaii. Coach Duff, watch out. Coming up next. Yeah, nice bone, dude, you got it. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> bone fishing with Coach Duff. Oh, yeah. Dude, that was awesome. I wanna go. Wanna Go Fishing is presented by Cabela's, celebrating 50 years as the world's foremost outfitter. And by Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. And Abu Garcia, for life. There are a few things I love more than time on the water. That's why I support Osearch.org. OSEARCH is a nonprofit organization with a global reach for unprecedented research on our ocean's giants. By wearing this t-shirt, I help protect our world's oceans. Learn more at OSEARCH.org. Amazingly, we got a break. It just opened up, got a little light in the sky, and the wind died. It was flat out there for like an hour straight. We tied up to a mangrove tree, and big bonefish start swirling around. There's one right there. We knew we were in the right spot. Darren has made unbelievable advancements since we've started here. I'd call him a novice now. And, and uh, usually when somebody wants to be good at something, they, they open themselves up to instruction. Duff went over a few principles about the ledge, about if you're fishing next to a flat and there is a ledge there, you need to run to the edge of it, let the fish go back off on the drag so it can't feel all the pressure if it makes it over. You ain't stopping him from making it to there. And then you can just fight it in deep water and you'll have a good shot at it. It's on, dude. So we'll say D's got good wheels, good reflexes. We gotta get him in the weight room a little bit more and maybe he can be a daily starter. There's a nice tail right there. One of the coolest things is that Darren really is a role model for his nephews. Oh yeah, I'm totally stoked. He's the man for the job and he's going to love it. He's going to give 110%. That's the excitement. And my parents passed away a couple years ago and my dad spent a lot of time with the grandkids uh, teaching them how to fish. We're going to get a fish today. Darren is going to get a fish today. Darren's parents were in a tragic bicycle accident when they were struck by a motorist driving down the road. They died about three years ago, almost the day now. A few times in my life, luck has just came to me, and a lot of times I just think, that's my parents looking out for me. 
My dad loved to fish too. He would get me up and take me steelhead fishing when I was just a little guy, eight years old. And he'd take me salmon fishing. And he's been fishing Tillamook Bay since 1967. He had a moorage spot down there. Hey brother, he's coming, he's fending back. So I feel like it's kind of like my dad taught me how to fish. I'm going to pass that on as much as I can to them. And all those nephews have it in their blood. They just love to get out there and do it. Oh, he's got it. You got him. You got him. You got to get to the edge, dude. Yeah! Run, run, run. After that, it was an epic battle. He's racing around the mangroves, running through the water. You know, until you get the fish, you know, it could be maybe on for 30 seconds. <laughs> Absolutely insane moment. Woo! Look at him go! The greatest fish you catch with a client is the fish that you teach the client what to do, he takes that instruction in, and then he goes off on his own, and he catches that fish by himself. Nice fish! Yeah. Like, that was sick! Yeah! That's not our bone fish, that's Dee's bone fish. That fish came, was coming right at him. Epic moment, he made the cast, he was patient, and then that thing just climbed on, just buried Woo! that fly. Nice man, man, I can just, this is, I can feel the strength of this. This right. fish is awesome. Whether I lost that fish or got that fish, I took something with me right yeah! there. Yeah, nice bone, dude, you got it. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> bone fishing with Coach Dub. Oh, oh that, was, that was that for a jump. Dude, yeah, that was awesome. This is a Bula Glossodonna. This is our flat species. It's a nice, nice fish. And we're going to release him here in a few seconds. And uh, it looks like your trip came out OK, huh? Oh, man. What a cool, trip. Huh? Thanks, Coach Duff. No way, baby. He got it. Yeah. We live it. We breathe it. And uh, we'll slow you down. We'll get you barefoot. Behind me here, there's a rainbow. Beautiful ending to a beautiful day. Man. Thank you. Thank you. I want to go fishing. There's our fish, man. That's what I came here for.